Today we're going to be going through an animal based workout. So what I need you to do is have a little bit of space. If you've got a hard floor, uh, you might need to go get your duvet or something because we're going to be rolling around on the floor a bit. It might be a bit hard on the back and the knees and things like that. So please uh, have a go at all the program. Uh, if it takes, uh, it should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to start with a little challenge. Okay, for this one, you're going to want to start with your socks and shoes off. So quickly whip them off. Okay, there we go. Quickly whip them off. Now, imagine you're standing on a, on a, a saucer, a mini plate. All right, I want you to stay on that saucer and you're going to turn around once to the left, then once to the right, and we're going to do that twice on each side. So you've got to stay still, can't touch anything around you, all right? So we're going to go around, whip. All right, and then you're going to go back around to the other side. Perfect. On the other side now. Who's balancing? Got to stay nice and upright. We. So this is a flamingo stand. Brilliant. Now, this time you're going to be twice round, but your hands are going to be your hips. This one's real tricky. Really make sure you stay on that saucer. You're not jumping all around. Okay, off we go. So you do a little calf raise, and you're round, standing like a flamingo. There's one. One and a half. There's two. See if you can do it on the other foot now. Okay, good. And the second turn, stay on that saucer. If you fall over, don't worry about it. Just get straight back up. Brilliant, so that was the flamingo stand. We're now going to do some teddy bear rolls. So, hold your knees, and you're just gonna rock back. And you're gonna go in all different little places. If it's hard floor, get your duvet down. There you go. Hold your knees. Big rolls. If you want to, you can go side to side a little bit. But nice big rolls. Just loosen off that back. Like a teddy bear would with his bottom up here. Okay. Next exercise. You're going to be on all fours. Okay, and I want you to try and look for me. Look, look like a camel. So your back has got a big round arch in it. Now it's important that that arch is towards the front of your back, not the back of your back. So what I mean by that is it's not coming in the middle. I'm trying to raise up through my shoulders, push the ground away, and let that back come up. Next one, you're gonna rotate down and up. So you're into a, into a cat position and a camel position. Cat position, camel. And all that movement is coming through that upper back, through the shoulder blades, Okay, well done everyone. So this is a cat and a camel. Okay, perfect, well done. Next one is a gorilla squat. So you're gonna grab your toes, your big toes. You're gonna grab your big toe, and you're gonna bring your bum up, and bring your bum down. Bring your bum up, bring your bum down. Bring your bum up, and down. So this is a gorilla squat. Ah, perfect. All right, so that was a real challenge of the mobility of the hips. Next one is gonna be an inchworm. So you're gonna be standing up, you're gonna walk your hands forward, and walk your hands back. Okay, should be a nice stretch on the hamstrings, back of the legs. Okay, brilliant. So with me, walking out, Walking forward. Oh. Perfect. Just do two more inch worms. And one more. So they're looking like a worm. Oh. Perfect. Well done, everyone.
So, shoes are coming back on. Just listen to me while you do that. We're now gonna go through six little strength exercises or bouncing, hopping exercises. I really want you to think about the animal that I'm giving you. Because once you know what the animal is, then you can start to think about how you need to move. So, you should be tying up your laces now. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna start with bunny hops. Okay, so, or kangaroo hops. So two feet, you're gonna be bouncing up and down. All right, perfect. So we're gonna do about 50 of these. So we're nice and springy off the floor. Imagine the sand is really hot, okay, and you're bouncing like a little bunny, like a kangaroo. Now kangaroos, when they jump, they're really springy. So try and be nice and springy when you're coming up and down. Don't sag. Lots of knee bend. It's really nice and springy. Awesome. Let's get for a few more of these. And you're trying to use the ball of your foot. So we're using the front of that foot and foot. And we're jumping up like a bunny. Awesome stuff. Perfect. Now, next one is going to be a flamingo. Again, you've got the flamingo. You're going to lift this foot up. Without bending this knee, you're going to try and bring the heel up. And you're just going to bring a heel up and down. Try not to touch the floor with this leg and try and keep your balance. If it's really difficult, you can hold on to a wall, but you're going to stand up like a flamingo. Try and bring this knee really high. And we're just going through those flamingos. Whoa. Great, other leg. So do about 15 on each side. So we're nice and balanced. Coming up. Good, if you need to use the wall, use the wall. But we're standing like a flamingo, we're trying to just lift this heel as high as we can. Excellent, the next one is gonna be a leaping frog. So you've got two feet, you're gonna try and jump up and forward as far as you can, like a frog, so there. And we're gonna leap like a frog from lily pad to lily pad. Perfect, okay, we're gonna do 20 of these. And we're gonna jump as high as we can and as far as we can, just like a leaping frog would. This is the animal movement workout. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, you're leaping like a frog. Excellent, everyone, well done. Leaping like a frog. Two more, everyone, two more. Really try go as far as you can. Excellent stuff, well done. Just gonna move my mat. Now this one, we're gonna go for a series of walks. If you have a lot of space, you can go up and down as far as you like. I don't have that much space with me here, so I'm just gonna be doing small walks forward and backwards. Make sure you go forwards and backwards. Okay, ready, so we are gonna have, first off, it's gonna be a bear crawl. So a bear crawl, Okay, we're gonna go nice and slow, and we're gonna be in quite a, in all fours position, but quite upright. Okay, so we're just gonna be going forwards and backwards, and trying to go two legs, uh, sorry, a leg and a hand at a time. Two legs would be pretty impressive. Brilliant, so this is the bear crawl. Okay, you're gonna crawl like a bear, through the woods. If you can go a lot further than this, you can do, but this is all you can do. It's absolutely fine. Awesome, everyone, well done. Give you 10 seconds left on that. The next one we're going to be doing is a crab walk. So, a crab walk. This time, you've got your feet out in front, 
your hands are beside you, and you're going to walk like a crab. You're going to go backwards and forwards. If you don't have much room, or if you just touch each toe. Okay, or you can walk forwards and backwards. I'm going to do a bit of both. Try not to slam down on your wrist, just walk back nice and slowly, forward nice and slowly. If you can, you can go sideways, if you have enough room for that. Backwards and forwards, left and right. Awesome. Awesome, well done. Okay, so next one is going to be a duck walk. So this time, ducks walk quite low to the floor and they have quite bent legs. All right, so without letting your knees touch the floor, you're going to walk as low as you can forwards and backwards. Perfect. Well done, everyone. So if you can, stay nice and low and do it slowly. That's walk far better. Depending on how much room you have, you may go further forward and backwards. But we're just going to have fun walking like a bit of a duck. Perfect, let's do one more. Well done, everyone, you're smashing it. So that is the duck walk. Next one. We're going to be doing the crouching tiger. So I want you to imagine you're going up to your prey, you're staying really low. Try and keep your chest nice and low, and you're going to be walking really low, forwards and backwards. Imagine you're coming up onto your prey, staying nice and low. Again, depending on how much space you have, you'll be going forward and backwards, left and right. Excellent everyone, well done. This one's a bit tougher. Get as low as you can. Keep your head up if you can. Try and look up, look down. So you can really see where you're going. Five seconds, I'm a bit tired now. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've got one exercise left after this. Brilliant, okay, so last exercise is what's going to be called the frog's pose. Now a frog stands with bent legs on his lily pad. So you're going to put your two hands onto the lily pad and you're going to slightly bend your arms. You're going to dig your elbow into the side of your knee on both sides and you're going to rock forward until you're standing in the frog's pose. Just going to show you that from side on. I'm going to leave you with this challenge See how, hot, how long you can hold the frog's pose for. So the elbows need to dig into the knees. If you're just trying to do it like this, <laughs> you're never going to do it. I'll show you from the side on again. Elbows into the knees, rock forward. Okay, you're almost touching the floor with your head. Okay, brilliant. Awesome, I'm going to leave you with that challenge. See if you can get any better at it for next week when you have a go at the animal challenge. Thanks everyone.